steal my heart. Clouding will be make me hell of the moon. And you're a final fish in this lagoon. I clear the now, you so beguiled. Even though you act so vile. And do says stone cold style. These are my boobs, my skeleton crew. A little strange, but so are you. Don't you wanna be your monster too? Yo, Frankie, just got a text from Jackie Laura. She's not going to the dance. What? I'm on my way over there right now to talk her down. I'll bolt over there and meet you. <laughs> I can't find the perfect outfit for the dance, so I can't go! <laughs> well, I'll look through your closet and find something amazing. Have you seen my closet? It could take weeks to find the right clothes. I wish there were more light in here. Oh, I got this. <laughs> oh, this closet's bigger than Cleo's ego. Almost 1,600 years worth of outfits. And I've worn every single one. There's got to be something in here you haven't worn. We'll find it. But how? Don't worry, ghoul friend. The nose knows. <sighs> It's hopeless. The dance is about to start, and I just want to bang my head and cry. I got a feeling we're gonna find you an outfit so crazy awesome cool that when we walk into that dance, every head's gonna turn. You really think so? I know so. Oh, ghouls? I think I found something. My nose is telling me there's something unbelievable in here. It's from my great-great-great-grandmother, open only in case of fashion emergency. <gasps> oh, this is totally an emergency! <clears throat> hey, Frankie, how about a hand? Whoa! It's... it's... perfect. Hey, look at this! Another one you've never worn. I think you should wear it. Really? Yeah, I oh, this whole thing's nice. If you only knew. I haven't been this excited since the sale at Ghouls R Us. Remember, all eyes will be on us. I thought everyone was here to watch the casketball game. Oh. Wow. You really are a super fan. Monster High is supposed to beat the West Valley Mages by 40. How did you come up with this? Uh. Oh, I get it now. I, I don't get it. We're losing. The last time I saw Claude get spanked this hard, it was with a rolled up newspaper. They know exactly what our team is going to do before it even happens. How? Mm -hmm. They're using the crystal ball to predict the future. What are we going to do? Those cheaters. The crystal ball is giving them all our moves. How do we stop them? Oh. That's a great idea, Golia. Wait, you're saying all we have to do is create enough noise and the sound waves will cause the ball to shatter. How are we going to do that? It's like a cemetery in here. Oh. The Gloom Beach champs! Sweet victory! We really worked our boats off. Now all I want to do is relax and catch some rays. Guya, we're at the beach! <laughs> Science and math! <gasps> Ghouls, we've got a problem. Guya doesn't know how to relax and have fun. <laughs> New mission. 
Kaguya have fun whether she likes it or not. <laughs> Step one, complete. Appropriate beach attire. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no! Those aren't the scarabs we talked about. Oh, just get it done. Oh, Guya, having fun yet? <laughs> Guya, you've got boys watching. Let them see your pretty undead eyes. Mm. Oh, oh, sorry. Mm. Guya, wait. We're sorry. Mm. We should have let you relax and have fun your way. tried to change who you were. And I must admit, your way of having fun is pretty fun. Yeah. Yay! Oh, oh, so so you. Now I just have to pass the road test this afternoon, and I'll be an official driving goo. Who you get for your test, hmm? An instructor fender bender. Oh, fender bender. Wow, he sounds tough. You need our help. Essence of Scario Fangdretti, the race car champion? I don't know about this. <laughs> Maybe I'll just crack the books. When in blizzard, pass Yeti on left. Time to crank up the heat. Uh, guys? I learned to drive by playing Extreme Graveyard Derby. I really should be home studying. This is studying, only it's way more fun. <laughs> Good job. Aces! Driving is kind of fun. <laughs> should I pull over? You never pull over. You just go faster. <laughs> oh, sorry. You will never get a license while I am here. <laughs> Next, Frankie Stein. Follow me. Are you all right? How did you do? <laughs> Ta da! Oh, yes, I knew you could. It was obviously those moves you learned to play in Graveyard Derby. My Fangdreddy racing potion did the trick. No, was my Ice Road Simulator. Actually, I did it the old-fashioned way. I studied. Hmm. Congratulations. Here's your license. Michelle, you're so lucky you get to take the class pet home with you every weekend. But this weekend I have tickets to the Gargoyle Olympics. Can someone watch him for me? Who can resist such a luxurious coat? So soft and pretty. We just need somewhere to keep it for a bit. Oh, I'll take it. I uh, thought I was getting a coat. There are three rules for you to follow. Do not let him eat cheese. He must be kept at room temperature and never, never let him get near electricity. Merci. Au revoir. I must go. We'll give you a hand. Draculaura, he's not supposed to have cheese. <laughs> He is probably thirsty. Happy no! He can't get cold. So much for rule three. <gasps> Rochelle! Oh, hey! Following all the rules. What? You're coming to get him now? Great! Oh no! We didn't follow the rules and and now he's gone. It's so sad. <laughs> Maybe I can jolt him back to life. <gasps> what are you?
you doing? <gasps> We're so sorry. <laughs> I know how hard it is to lose a pet. Sorry. Oh, no. He is very much alive. What? Every year, he sheds his coat and hibernates. He's sleeping? Oui, but uh, because you broke the rules, he started a week early. He's alive? I'm so happy! <laughs> Feast your eyes, ghouls. It's called Iridescent Scream. You're late to help us bake for the fundraiser because you got your nails done. This polish is made from the extract of the giant mutant octopus. Ooh, no nibbling until you help. Whatever. But if I chip a nail... <laughs> Saved by the bell. <laughs> Stole all the cookies I worked so hard to bake. What was that? <laughs> it's a cookie dough monster! This will be the ghoul's first cookie customer. <laughs> Whoa! Time to stonewall this cookie. It's not over yet! <gasps> Swim for it, Gil! <laughs> you did it! Look! I did? I did! I broiled that blob! Take that, Doughboy! I'm on fire, baby! Right. Look what I found. It's my nail polish. That little thing was this. Clean up this mess immediately. Wait, what do I do? Bon appetit! At least it has chocolate chips. <laughs> oh my, raw! Who knew Deuce was so romantic? Way to go. She loves roses. What made you send it? I didn't, but I'd like to know who did. I must have a secret admirer. It's about time. About time I find this guy and tell him to knock it off. He's so cute when he's jealous. Have you seen Cleo? I need to talk to her. Why? You got a thing for her? No, I gotta ask her something. Like, if she got your flowers? Well, she did. Dude, you're acting crazy. I'm out of here. Don't turn your back on me when I'm talking to you. Or what? You gonna do something about it? <clears throat> you and me, three o'clock, Cleo's locker. Furball. Deuce and Claude are gonna brawl! <gasps> That's adorable! I have to find your secret admirer before someone gets hurt. Julia, show us Cleo's locker, then fast forward. Oh, oh no, the shot is blocked. What do we do? The boys start brawling any minute. Oh, 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 go, Claude. Go, Deuce. I really don't care. You're my bro, Claude, but Cleo is with me. Nobody accuses me of trying to steal their ghoul. Huh? <laughs> Wait, you're my Rose. Get back in my locker. I'm not your Rose. I'm Thornton, new student, and it's my locker. Ah, I'm locker 111. Yours is 777. Hey, oops, my bad. So, I don't have a secret admirer? Ha! Too tall, no foliage, and your roots are showing. <laughs> Bro, he just insulted your ghoul. Huh. Come on. Three guys brawling over me? The perfect day. Hey, watch it. Oh, anyone heard of Excuse Me? Chasing mice. Oh, that was so three lives ago. Sink it, bro. 
Hey, look out! I say, run! Dude, that was a personal foul! <laughs> very personal and very foul. Look out! Hey! are a lock to repeat at Monster Mashinals. Think we lost a mate? It would appear not. <laughs> Watch the wobble! <laughs> when mixing an invisibility potion, carefully measure each ingredient, or the consequences will be. <laughs> what? Who dares? I uh, take it I'm not invisible. Don't rub it in. We almost lost you there. Oh, jolly good romp there. Top shelf chasing, if I do say so. Even better than yesterday. <laughs> We've still got two minutes till class starts. Fancy another go? <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Oh, you guys need a new hobby! Looking hot! Laguna! I'm adrift in your sea of beauty. You think you're so cute, don't you, mate? Yeah, a little. Well, you're not. Crikey, why do you have to be such a child? Oh. Laguna, this math problem should be Gappy's play for you. Oh, who cares? <gasps> I am the fastest of all time! <laughs> okay, she's officially gone off the deep end. What did you do to her? It doesn't matter whose fault it is. We've got to fix this. But how? We can start by showing her how special she is to us. That should make her feel better. I'm gonna do some loud, crazy gesture to remind her of what she means to me. Operation Cheer Up Laguna is in effect. We got you a little something. It's the new box makeup's wedges. Yeah, whatever. Laguna, we baked you your favorite double chocolate and seaweed pillow. <laughs> Thought we might find you here. Whatever's going on with you, we're your BFFs. Just tell us. Shh. Listening to the murmur of the waves makes me feel better. Every hundred years. The ocean goes through a magnetic reversal, causing all of us sea creatures to go through a monster morphosis. Well, just tell us how to fix this. Frankie, you can't fix it. It's part of who I am. Then what can we do? Be my friends. Be there for me. Listen to me. And right this second, be quiet. <laughs> I'm kind of glad Gil isn't with you. This is so hard to explain, especially to a freshwater boy. Oh no! Gil! You here to watch slow mo in Dawn of the Dead play dodgeball? Uh -huh. mm, you, Romulus, you're with us. I'll take Jackson. Yes, not last. <laughs> you are last, Normie. No way I'm gonna let a zombie be on my team. <sighs> What do you want? Why won't you let them play? Zombies are terrible at dodgeball. See? Zombies should stick to what they're good at. Attracting flies and going slowly from place to place. <laughs> you and the zombies versus us? You're on. Winner gets to be permanent team captain. And that will be me. <laughs> and I thought you were supposed to be smart. It's great that you're sticking up for your blokes, but if they win, no zombie will ever be chosen for dodgeball. What are you gonna do? Uh... You zombies stink! <laughs> I'm turning up the air! Full blast! <sighs> you're a genius. Ready to lose? Lose 
Lazarus. Crash and burn. What are you waiting for? <laughs> you stink worse than I thought. This is fun. I can't believe we lost to zombies. They're gonna be picking teams for the rest of high school. <laughs> Have never been to slumber party before. Ah, uh, slumber parties are the best. Sometimes we just need to stay up all night and catch up. And give each other makeovers. And do each other's toenails. And talk about toys! Aren't you forgetting gargoyles to gargoyles? What is this gargoyles to gargoyles? Cleo's favorite party game. We play it every time we stay over. I happen to be undefeated. Three, four, five. Diabolical demon card. Ooh. Lose 500 points. You're out. I am? Yay! I mean, woo! I think I'm going to go into the bathroom and cry. A mountain troll ruins your hair and makeup before school pictures. Claudine's out. Oh, well, I better go in the other room before I make a scene. You know, you still have one card that you can play. Right. I have a double trouble card, which means I can take any opponent out with me. And I choose Frankie. Oh, dang. I guess it's just you and me, Abby. Your move. Looks like you've stumbled into the fire pools of... Moment, please. I have royal reversal card. We trade places. You are now in pools of fire. What? How? I, I don't... Uh, can we call a quick timeout? This was good move, no? We love gargoyles to gargoyles, but Cleo is super competitive. A better move is to let Cleo win. What point of playing game if you just let her win? A cave orc trolls social network, lose a turn. A couture wizard curses your closet, go back five spaces. A wood nymph hex your phone, lose 1,000 points. It is over, you are out, I win. Oh my raw! Finally, a worthy competitor. We're playing this game all night. Oh, let's do this. Oh, no. Big time. I can't believe we get to go to Monte Scarlo! I hear that little old place is crawling with Monsterazzi. I cannot wait to get there and just... Achoo! Frankie Stein, if you're sick, you may not attend the class tree. Don't worry, Mr. Rotter. There's no way I'm getting sick. <laughs> oh, man. Nobody get near her. If you catch what she's got, no Monte Scarlo. Sorry, Frankie, I can't risk missing. Ah, oh, two! <laughs> Ugh. Ah, two! Ah, two! <laughs> what are you so happy about? I'm thinking about all the fun I'm gonna have on the trip without you. The bus is leaving in 15 minutes. Must hurry. Drivers want to go. You better get back on the bus before you catch it, too. I laugh at this notion. Ha! Huh, I do not get sick. Monsters in my village very hearty. There's got to be some kind of cure. Goya, find anything yet? Yeah. Monster thistle? Oh, my dad told me it grows in the catacombs. We just need someone to go find it. I know this plant, but has one side effect. Just go! Oh, there is Monster Thistle! Finally! Jeez Louise! Abby's not going to make it. Too bad, because I'm going to have a fantastic time. No, we're not sick anymore! I feel better. Huh? You said you don't get sick. Allergic to monster thistle. That is side effect. Achoo! The buses haven't left yet. Come on! No! Monte Scarlo! Monster Hotsy!
Monster High. Big school, big problems. There's a thousand different stories in a place like this. That's where I come in. Name's Spectra. I report the news. The truth is always out there. And I'm the slick sister that'll find it. I've been in this racket longer than I can remember. And I thought I'd seen it all. Until he walked into my life. I knew this flame fatale was trouble the minute I saw him. Hiya, handsome. Got a light? Name's Burns. Heath Burns. I need your help, Spectre. I'm in a pickle jar and I can't eat my way out, see? What's the rumpus? You heard about the missing statue? Huh, of course I heard. I'm getting flim-flammed here, doll. What do you say? Will you take the case, prove me innocent? Bloodgood's gonna throw me out of school if you don't. Sure, kid. The evidence all pointed in one fire-hot direction. Information was tough to come by. It seemed there wasn't a monster at this school that hadn't been wronged by Heath Burns in some way or other. That's when it hit me. Go right to the top. I suppose you're wondering why you're all here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Spectra, you're playing us for a bunch of rubes. We all know Heath took the statue. His burn marks are all over it. Each and every person in this room had reason to frame the flame. Like you, Frankie. Isn't it true Heath burned your biology homework last week? How'd you feel? Mad. I swear, sometimes I could just... I see. And you, Torolai, didn't Heath splash water on you right before the school pictures? Claude and Deuce, how many times has Heath embarrassed you at the mall? And didn't you guys tell him that he was going to be sorry? But we didn't mean... Every one of these students had cause for framing Heath. So who did it? Hello? Statue cleaners. Oh, here it is. Blow torches. Monday's fine. Everyone's free to go. Isn't that the way it always goes? Seems like the whole world wants to see a burn. And the next, you're free as a sparrow without a care. That's life in Monster High for you. The name's Spectra, and I report the news. Hey, Operetta. Hey there yourself, Honeycomb. You're in a good mood. I just won me a contest to meet my favorite opera singer, Christian de Von Hammerstone! That's awesome! Sweet! And how are you planning on comporting yourself when you meet? Well, I reckon I'd just be myself. I just thought perhaps you wouldn't want to embarrass yourself. Embarrass myself? Christian de Von Hammerstone is a huge star. She's regal. Everything I am and you're not. Golly, I don't want to make a darn fool out of myself. I will help you become an elegant lady of refinement. That smells delicious! Please demonstrate the proper way to eat this dish. Oh, that'll be plum easy. <laughs> First of all, it was a trick question. A lady never eats biscuits and gravy. Well, I love them! <laughs> as a non-headed hydra in a room full of guillotines. Don't be. I've trained you to be an elegant, sophisticated lady. Miss Von Hammerstone, it's an honor to... Uh... Call me Crescendo. Really? Oh, yeah, you ain't gotta put on no airs. Just be yourself. Hey, do I detect a bit of New Gaulians in that accent? Narleston. I got family up in Narleston. We probably know a mess of the same monsters. What? They like biscuits and gravy. Oh, my God. Your daddy was the phantom? Criminy. He was my first vocal coach. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, Abby. You ready for finals week? Oh, um, uh, are you okay? I'm fine, feeling top of world. It looks like you've been crying. Me never. I'm not sad. Must go late for class. Uh, Abby, wait! What's with her? Oh. Ah. This is the time of year when all girls from Abby's village go through a challenge, the Himalayas. They survive off the land and pass various grueling physical and mental tests. Mm. Ha! And winner in your grills! This is the week. So that's why she's so sad. She couldn't go because of finals. Poor thing. Uh... Go 
Anya, please. That'll never work. Will it? Yes! I'll talk to Bloodgood. Oh, what a great surprise for Abby. Hey, ghouls. Want help for study of biology? Oh, sorry. We can't. Yeah, we have to go to the, the movies. The movies. Bye. Bye. Frankie, Draculaura. <gasps> <laughs> She's here! What is going on? Ta-da! We talked to Bloodgood, and you can fang out in the freezer for the week! Guya set up a webcam so you won't miss any class. We know it's not quite the Himalayas, but... Oh, wait! <laughs> Abby, you know, it's okay to tell us when you're sad. We're your friends. <laughs> Hey, Leaky, do you know how to arm wrestle? Yo, bro, what's going on? You know, digging. Romulus and I wanted to see if you wanted to catch the new scary rotter flick. Dude, I'm so there. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, uh, okay, Mom, I know. Sorry, guys. I can't go anywhere till I finish my chores. Stone Cold Bummer, man. Oh, uh-uh. No way. Oh, yes way. You need to learn to keep your paws off my stuff. You don't even wear that anymore. Why do you think you can just borrow my dress without asking? Um, because I look cuter in it. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, yes, I do. You got a lot of girls. Wow. Must be tough living with two sisters who fight like that. You know wolves, bro. Always trying to establish dominance. My sisters can turn anything into a competition. Romulus, you're a genius. Guys, give me a ticket. I'll be done with my chores in an hour tops. Hey, sis, you seen Helene? Why, did she borrow something else I don't know about? No, I just wanted to get some tips. I mean, everyone knows she's the best at doing laundry. Helene? She is not the best. She said she was. Oh, I'll show her. I mean, I'm not as good as Claudine. She'd have the whole yard done in two minutes. Huh, I can do it in one. That's what she said. Give me that. She thinks that? Just watch me. Hey, Claude around? My man. You ready to roll? Hey, Mom, I'm off to the movies. <laughs> yes, ma'am. All my chores are just about finished. See ya. Wait, he just... Oh! Claude, you are such a brother! I figured it out before you did. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, I did too. Oh, you in your dreams? Give me you a break. break. This is my way. Way. I'm I'm way. Way. On this episode of M.H. True Monster Stories, Toralai Stripe. <laughs> Toralai Stripe, one of the most infamous students at Monster High. This werecat's vengeance strikes fear in the hearts of even the toughest Monster High students. <laughs> what makes this cantankerous kitty purr? To answer that, my friends, we must go back, all the way back to the beginning. Born the smallest of a litter of six, she had to fight for everything she got. <laughs> The entire litter was adopted. Oh, Scarold, how adorable! All of them, except Toralai. Toralai learned quickly. She survived using only her wit, speed, and cunning. But time eventually catches up with everyone. She wound up where a lot of kitties from the street did. The pound. It was here where she met her werecat sisters, Persephone and Meowlity. Together, they would rule this place with an iron paw. The key is to find out who runs things, and then show them who's boss. <laughs> <laughs> things might have stayed that way forever, had a certain benevolent headmistress not stepped in. Ladies, I run a school called Monster High, a place where you can learn and grow. I think you belong there. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. But as happy as Toralai was to be at Monster High, you can't teach an old cat new tricks. 
Okay, same rules apply. We find out who runs things, then we show them who's boss. After that, we ghouls will rule the school. So who is Torlai? My friends, we may never know for sure. This has been... MH True Monster Stories. Well, what do you think? Are you kidding? I love it! Going for smoothies during free period. Want to join us? Deuce is buying. I am? I mean, yeah, totally. Yeah. Oh, Emra, <laughs> you're not too busy. You're just sitting there on your computer like you do every day. Uh. Well, if you change your mind, you know where to find us. Busy, please. Uh. I don't know what to do. I need to get my hair done for the big superintendent's party tonight, but I'm swamped with paperwork. Thank you, Gulia. I look fabulous. Yes, Nightmare, you're pretty too. Is yours now? Crikey, it's freezing. I don't know how, but it's perfect. Spectra, where's the new ghostly gossip blog coming out? Sorry, the Wi-Fi is out. No <gasps> word on when it's going to be fixed. at all. You're in the exact same spot. Yeah. It's not like the school is going to fall apart if you take a break, you know. <laughs> this necklace is very gorgeous. <laughs> I know, isn't it great? Claude got it for me. Oh, can I try it on? Okay, just be careful. Oh, oh no, it's in the deep end. I am so sorry. I'll get it back, I promise. No, you don't understand. It's in the deep end. It's gone forever. Hush, hush. What's all this about? The deep end. I dropped Draculaura's necklace down there, but but I'm gonna get it back. No one, no one goes in the deep end. Why is everybody acting so weird about the deep end? <gasps> the deep end. <laughs> Frankie, the pool at Monster High is the deepest in the world. No one knows what lurks way down under there. Well, I'm going in. I caused this mess and I'm gonna fix it. You don't have to do this. I'll just tell Claude that... that... <laughs> I lost it! No, no, no. I'm gonna make this right. If you're going, I'm going with you. I don't get what all the fuss is about. The deep end is kind of nice. Look at this flower. It's not a flower. Swim! <laughs> Wait! He went in here! He's got a whole pile of stuff. Hey, you! Give me that back! Frankie, it's not worth it! Frankie! Don't you know not to mess with a monster with bolts? Now give me that necklace! <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you! By working together, we conquered our fears and did the whole school a favor. See? Oh, sweet! My T97X4 calculator! Aw. Oh. I thought I'd never see you again, baby. Take a flyer. Vote for Glory. I won't let you go to waste. Hey, don't be a loser. Be a reuser. Sort compostable food stuff. Plastic, hands. We all win when you choose the right bin. It's too much trouble. 
Heath, be a good sport. Think and take a moment to sort. Recycling is so uncool. Recycling is what? It's so cool. Huh. One down, only 6.7 billion to go. <sighs> Hello, old friend. If there was only a way I could tell everyone how important this is to our survival. I don't know how to be hurt. I hear ah. you just fine. Venus, can't you use your power of, you know... Power of pollen persuasion. Yes, to make the people learn. With my power, I can only influence one monster at a time. Our planet is in trouble. We need someone with influence. We need... <gasps> Cleo! You're the coolest ghoul in school. If you lead, they will follow. It's a talent. But I don't know. I can't be seen picking through trash. It's not trash. It's recyclables. To change the way people think, you'd have to make it cool, stylish. Sounds like a fashion show. Welcome to the first annual Monster High All Recycled Completely Renewable Fashion Show. From trash to fash, Ghouls look cool while they save the planet. You can too, so recycle, reuse, and renew. Let's hear it for the ghouls. I learned something. Who thought that could happen at school? We did great today. We sure did. <laughs> I was talking to you. I was so embarrassed. Detention. I didn't even know what I did. You guys, too? Yes, Miss Stein. You and your friends have detention. What did we do? One of you is responsible, and you will remain incarcerated until I get a confession. So, Miss Denial. You're hiding something. Confess. Fine. It was me. That stupid idol cursed my pizza. See? <laughs> that is not the crime I was talking about. Next. I did it. No way. She's so good. Go on. Oh, I just love these perfume samples. Uh, Sorry! That's not it! Next! Well, I only did it because Mr. Heck was going to dissect those poor innocent froggies. No! Next! I'm telling the truth. My brother did eat my homework. No! Was it because I burned that book? No. Burned my locker? No. The bathroom? The theater? The pool? No, no, and no! Wait! How did you burn a pool full of water? <laughs> it was an accident. No! And then he was all like, you know, and I was all like, whatever, and he was like, for real? I have no idea what you're saying, but no. Someone is guilty. One of you took my glasses, and I demand to know who. Those glasses? Oh, um, yes. You're free to go. Finally. I knew we didn't About do anything. Time. Wait, my fountain pen. One of you. In your pocket. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> no! Everything is going totally according to plan. Our creation is almost ready. <laughs> Jackson, did you find all of our ingredients? Yes, Mast. I mean, Frankie. Whoa, this sure is heavy. Ow, my back! Help me open this bad boy up. Uh, don't you think you're getting a little carried away here? What makes you say that? <laughs> now, put on your goggles. It's gonna get messy. <laughs> I can't look. Yes, it's all coming together so deliciously. I always wanted to know how these were made, but I don't know if I have the stomach for it. Oh, it's too late to back out now. Here, and this will keep it from falling apart. Time to get your gloves dirty. It's all gooey. This little guy is almost there. The arms, the legs, perfect. It's so lifelike. Yes, and now for the moment of truth. Our creation will rise. We blew a fuse! We're running out of time! We 
We need more power! I've got it! We can find another way! No! There is no other way! Finally, my creation is finished! <laughs> And that's my secret family recipe, guaranteed to reanimate your taste buds. Ta-da! I can't wait till those come up. Wow! Who knew that Frankie would take her home ick final so seriously? Yeah, it's like she totally became a different ghoul. Uh-uh-uh! No nibbling till you're frosted. Oh, Frankie, but I'm so delicious! Smoking hot. Do you believe in love at first sight, or should I walk by again? Heath, you dropped your notebook. No, who, dude? Slow down. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. You're you're a voodoo doll, and you're holding somebody's stuff. If something happens to you, they feel the pain. Sorry. It's all good. That who doofus just gave me a catastrophically good idea. I just had to come over and talk to you. Oh, wow. You're perfectly awesome. I must be dreaming. I pinch myself, but I wouldn't feel it. Great. Let me just write down my number for you. <gasps> Would you borrow her pen for me? Uh, okay. something mighty fishy going on around here. Speaking of fishy, how weird is it? Torlai and Hoodoo are fanging out. Hoodoo borrowed my biology book and hasn't brought it back yet. Ah! Torlai! She's been using Hoodoo's voodoo power to torture us all day. Gills, I've got an idea. You want me to try out for the diving team? This is the best day ever. Torlai wanted you to hold on to a bracelet. She's so sweet. Do you know where Hoodoo is? No, no, haven't uh -uh. seen him. <laughs> oh, yeah! He's at diving practice for the next three hours. <laughs> oh, man. What did Holt do now? It won't come off! Ugh! Hey, Frankie. Uh, what's everybody talking about? You don't know? What kind of monster would vandalize the school? How do you know it was a monster? Oh, you did this? No, Holt did. I just woke up with the evidence all over me. When Bloodgood finds out about this, she'll throw Holt out of school. And if she throws Holt out of school, she throws you out of school. She's probably looking for me right now. I just don't believe he would do something like this. I kind of caught him red-handed. There's no way Holt did this. And I'm going to help you prove it. Jackson, I need to speak with you. You better bolt. I'll catch up with you later. Yeah, I seen him last night. I can't stand loud music! Ah! What was he doing? He was carrying paint out of the back of the school. Thanks for your help, Mr. Ogerthorpe! What's with the yelling? Oh, I've got very sensitive ears. I really can't believe he did it. Me either. Jackson Jekyll? I can still see you. We must speak about Holt. I know. He vandalized the school, so if you want to throw us out... Vandalized? I commissioned Holt to draw a mural here. But he didn't finish. I asked around, and apparently Mr. Ogerthorpe turned his music off. Oh! I knew it! So, Jackson, if you don't mind, I'd like Holt to get back to work. Music! Ah! Boy, 
For today's lesson, behold this paragon of scientific perfection. What a hunk of junk. That <laughs> you're feasting your eyeballs on a device of astounding power. A machine so stupendous and amazing that... Mr. Hack, Mr. Hack, to the office. A dragon has started a fire. Right. Be back in exactly five minutes. Anybody touches the device, the whole class gets detention. A device so powerful and amazing. <laughs> like Baby Yik must sniff everything. Keith, you're going to get us all in trouble. Relax. It doesn't even work. <laughs> How was I supposed to know that thing worked? In four minutes, Mr. Hack is going to return. And when he sees us like this, he's going to freak. <laughs> there must be a reverse button on the machine. It's too far to jump. How do we get across? <laughs> I got this. I told you, I'm on fire, baby. Holy smokes, Mayday, Mayday! One minute left. Be good, doggy, and help the squeeze. All right, Abby, come on. Okay, now all we have to do is pull the lever and we're home free. Oh. Ah! Oh, this is arachnidiculous! <gasps> Idea! One, two, three! Got it! That's it! Detention for the lot of you! What? Okay, who told? What? It wasn't me. I still don't think we should be down here. Aren't you even curious to see your dad's old high school laboratory? They say it's been sealed up since he graduated. This skeleton key will get us in. I bet it's crawling with mysteries. And danger. So don't touch anything. What's the worst that could happen? Hello, Hello dude. dude. What are you doing here? He was lonely, so I said he could come. No way. Oh, but... <laughs> What? Seriously? Somehow, everywhere you go, nothing but trouble. Give me a chance. I promise not to touch anything. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's good. I'm cool. Aw, oh, come on, ghouls. It's the nice thing to do. Ugh, oh, fine. But remember, don't touch anything. I know, I know. Oh, oh, Frankenstein's laboratory! This place is epic! Ooh, what's in here? He wondered from afar, clearly not touching it. I always thought Hack was brainless. I didn't know it was science fact. That's on me. My bad. <gasps> what a horrible beast did we unleash! What if it's dangerous? Yeah, dangerously cute. Oh, come here, sweetie. Psst, psst, psst. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, that tickles. Are you okay? This little guy loves me. Were you lonely? Huh? Who loves you? Whoa! <laughs> We're gonna be best buddies. See, I told you guys it was a good idea to bring him. <laughs> Hey, what's biting me? Oh, from Cleo. Big emergency. Oh, my God. Look, more bandages. Stat. Ow, ow, ow. Ah! Poor thing. It's who, dude? He's having a bad day. He's a voodoo doll. If he's having a bad day, everyone is. Frankie, you made them. You have to fix them. What can I do? I'm not a... <gasps> Mind, Mind reader. reader! Scare us screams! <gasps> He's so sad. <sighs> ow. 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 It's doom! I like buttons. <sighs> Our only hope is to go inside. When Gulia hits that button, we will all be transported into his brain. 
Totally empty. The mind is like a house. Each room serves a separate function. This area controls speech. The memory center earlier today. You, student disembodied president? You're not even a real dude, dude. Ah, he's right. I'll never be real. <laughs> uh, he, his problem is self-esteem. How do we fix that? This area controls emotions. Most important, love. We just have to connect him to himself. Did it work? I like you. Oh, thank you, Scara. I'm cured. I'm cured. Looks like our work here is done. I don't care what you say to me anymore, because I love myself. <laughs> Maybe we should go back in and make a few more tweaks. Oh, to the Cyrus! Party of the Millennium, tonight at my house! We need it. Everybody's been so stressed over finals. Oh, hold up a sec. Hey, Ghoul, big party at Cleo's tonight! Voltages! Hey, game on at Cleo's tonight! Aces! Evie! Party at Cleo's? Count me in. I like it. It's super. super. I can't get hold of Draculaura. She's been more stressed than any of us. Ghouls, we got a problem. Oh, it it's okay, honey. <laughs> It's not that bad. Look at me! I've got polka dot fever! <laughs> oh, you poor dear. It's caused by all the stress. And now I'm going to miss Cleo's party and then everybody is gonna have fun and I'm stuck here with gross dots on my face and they're all gonna laugh at me and nobody's gonna like me. And my life is over! <laughs> It's gonna be okay. Cry. If you can't come to the party, we are not having it, right? You good. That it. seems a bit drastic. No! Uh, go on! Without me! <laughs> Wait! My great great grandwolf Harriet had an amazing home remedy to cure polka dot fever! Oh, what? Wow. That's great! Okay, gargoyle claw, troll whiskers, griffin beak, and. Did it work? In my village, we have centuries-old cure. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've got an idea. We couldn't get rid of your dots, so we made the party polka dot theme. You girls are the best friends any vampire ever had. My stress is gone. And so are my spots. <laughs> This is the slowest news day in the history of Monster High. If I don't get a scoop soon, I'm just gonna oh, live. There's gotta be one juicy piece of gossip floating around the school. Hey, Dad, what's up? Get out. I smell a scoop. You got tickets to see Justin Biter? She gets to take her best friend. Her choice to go with will reveal her BFF. Frankie's taking me to the Justin Biter concert. You? Clearly. Aren't you gonna put on your uniform? Of course, I, I was just about to. That's the way, that's the spirit. Why just talk when you can cheer it? <laughs> she was just being nice to you. I'm her BFF. <sighs> Draculaura! Get me out of here! Please. Do you think it's rude if I wear headphones to the concert? You? you? Who are you calling a bull? Did I just walk into the monster preschool? No. Then why are you acting like such a child? What would your sister Minnie think of this behavior? You're not gonna tell her, are you? Leave him alone. Thanks. She was just being Frankie. Oh. You're Frankie's best friend? Uh-huh. Julia, he must like you. He invited you to eat lunch with him and his bloodies. Mm. Don't be shy. We'll go together. Frankie's got your back. Guess he's going to the concert with Frankie. What? We better go settle this. Okay. Oh, Who you take? Are you yeah. I'm not taking my best friend to the concert. Oh. Oh. I'm taking my best friend. You're all going! 
Then why did Spectra's blog say that you could only take one of us? That's a good question. In my rush to print a juicy story, I may or may not have missed a couple of key facts. I better make like a ghost and disappear. Bye-bye! Hey, Rebecca, what's the deal with all that old-timey junk? It is not junk. These are my school supplies. How are you going to do your homework with that outdated stuff? Here, use my laptop. Or my tablet. Or, or my school tablet. Listen, I prefer the old-fashioned way of doing things. But isn't it, like, way harder with that stuff? I find that it's much more rewarding. What? You all should try it. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> This crazy thing. It's Gulliel's science project. What does it do? Something to do with electromagnetic pulse or whatever. Now, I'm not supposed to let anybody mess with it, especially you. <sighs> I hate this time of year. Everybody's got a school project due, and nobody's paying attention to me. Um, what? <sighs> I won't let anybody near it. Don't worry. Oh, my girl! Tell me everything. And I mean everything. Don't Tell me I can't mess with stuff. I mean, what am I gonna do? Huh? Break it. What happened? Hey! Hi, Bab. My computer doesn't work. My book report is due. My marine biology. I might be able to help. Is it dangerous? <laughs> I prefer carrier bats, just as good as email. It will do everything your fancy calculator can do, only more fun if you ask me. <laughs> Thanks for helping us, Rebecca. I hope I showed you that you don't have to be so dependent upon technology. Gotta check my messages. Guys, hello? Going. Every year, the Fear Squad works at the Coffin Bean for free. All the proceeds go to an awesome children's charity. I hold the record for the most money earned. Until today. Please. Oh. Here we go. This will keep track of all the money we earn for charity. We want to get to here to beat last year. But we want to get here to beat Nefera's record. Oh, our first customers. I'll have a small sugar-free vanilla fangachino. Uh, let me have a monster triple espresso with extra chocolate sprinkles and two pumps of white chocolate and uh, sprinkles more, please. We're already almost to last year's total. Nefera's record is going to be ancient history. Looks like your record is going to need bandages, Nefera. Doubt that. I like to call this Cleo's bad luck charm. <laughs> I don't suppose we broke Nefra's record. Mm -mm. We actually owe a bunch of money for damages. Talk about epic fail! <laughs> it's over. Wait, you're not giving up, are you? To beat her record, we'd need to serve close to 500 customers in an hour. I don't even know 500 monsters. Together, we do. <gasps> Order's ready! 106! 109! I forbid you to enter! Stop! Oh! Hey, everybody! We beat last year's total! Woo! Yay! Our children's charity is gonna be mega pumped! Oh, All right. yeah. oh, guess that turned out to be your bad luck charm. <laughs> I can't believe the dance is this fright day. I have to pick what I'm going to wear, then pick what Claude's going to wear so it matches, and then change my mind and pick something else to wear, and of course change Claude's outfit, then get upset that I have nothing to wear, then at the last minute change my mind back to what I picked out first. Woo! So, Abby, who are you taking to the dance? Not going. Nobody is. That's wow. Bikini. Wow. Is mystery. Boys find me cold. Is no big whoop. Hey, ladies. Abby, check it. <laughs> 
Having a serious convo here, Heath. If guys knew how amazing and sweet Abby was, they would all have monster crushes on her. Ooh, I read in Monster Beat that the hot new Fang is speed dating. Where do you just meet a bunch of guys and spend like a minute with each one? Yeah, huh? And whoever you spark to, you can see them again. I'm not knowing about this hurry up dating. Under this modern exterior, I'm still sort of old fashioned cool. Come on, what have you got to lose? Ah! Oh, ghouls! Heath, quit messing around! This is serious. I'm not messing around. <laughs> Why you wink at me? Just met you. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I only have... Too fresh, mister. Next! So, hey, I uh, was uh, wondering if... Um... No, too timid. You are a sheep in wolf's clothing. Next! <laughs> Hey, hot stuff, why don't you let me take you to the dance and I'll melt your heart. Hacha! Heath! Whoa! Oh. <laughs> ha! Wait! Getting down with my bad self. You like? Out of all those guys you met at speed dating, why did you decide to go to the dance with Heath? You make me laugh. Yeah, that's it. Ow! <laughs> I'm Spectra Vondergeist, and this is a Monster High Historia. Werewolf and vampire high schools have been at each other's throats for a thousand years. It can be said that the war ended here. At Monster High, this is that story. We transferred to Monster High from an all-vampire school. It wasn't easy. <laughs> Ooh, you smell. Maybe it's time to start using soap and water instead of just your tongues. <laughs> <laughs> we may have been a little rude. We werewolves weren't any better. This is our turf now. Got it? Vamposers. <laughs> <laughs> Garlic totally gives vampires mega monster zit. It was so voltageously intense, the smallest thing could set off a major battle. Ew! It's a disease carrier! What? You heard me. This bathroom is now vampires only. Out! You can't do that. Did I see you growl at this vampire? Don't forget your place, or I'll make you remember. This ends today. Agree. We can't go on like this. Today, the gym, sundown. Bring your full strength. Winner gets the school. But at Monster High, what makes us unique brings us together. And by working together, we can conquer the real enemy, prejudice. I'm Spectra Vondergeist, and this has been a Monster High history. And in case you were wondering, vampire werewolf relations have never been better. Claude, all I'm saying is that you could have called me at least once. I didn't have any cell reception in the woods. You could have howled like you do every time you watch casket ball when I'm trying to study. So now I howl too loud. You're cute when you're angry. Hurry up, Guya. I've seen pyramids built faster than you pedal. Again? Whoa! Hey, hey, hey. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and then she was like, no way, and I was all like, are you listening? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm, nice scooter. Zombie 
country. <sighs> You get all the hard to reach places. This is my toothbrush. Ew, gross. <laughs> We totally smashed the interview! Once Bloodgood makes us official safety officers, we'll be the hottest dudes in school! You really think she's going to choose the likes of you? Why, duh! Because we'll have the power to send you to the office for anything! The job is for keeping the hallways safe. Come on, dudes. Let's practice our cop walk. They care not for this school. Next. I am a gargoyle. It is in my very nature to be strong, dignified. Being safety officer is not all glitz and glamour, although this badge is very sparkly. <sighs> Headmistress, I am not one who wishes to do this for my own ego. I will not disappoint you. Monster High, my job to keep them safe, be it a matter of a simple traffic jam or dragons that have escaped from the catacombs. I am always vigilant. You know you are not supposed to use the cursed amulets in school. How am I supposed to pass biology? By studying? Oh, fine, I won't use it. Merci. We don't need a hall pass. You're our permanent hall pass. I cannot believe you would try to take advantage of me. It is very much against school rules to reanimate old monsters. Rochelle, can't you let it slide, please? Obey, obey, please. I am sorry, my friends. Makers of trouble? Oh, it does not feel good. Maybe this job is not for me. Headmistress, I am sorry. Surprise! Congratulations! You survived my test. I had to know the school could count on you, even when your besties tempt you otherwise. Sorry, we only did it because we knew you would pass. So not only do you have the job, but I'm promoting you to the head of my new safety team. Deputy Burns, reporting for duty. <laughs> Question, who will protect the school from the safety team? Sasquatchy and Cadaver will be getting their new fall collection tomorrow morning. And my complex plan of action will make sure I'm, I, I mean, we are the most fashionable ghouls in school. Why can't we just get here super early and wait where that sign says? This is the sale of the century. Zombies are even camping out in the parking lot. Okay, now, Draculaura, you're here. Claudine, you start here. Which puts us at the front of the line precisely when the store opens. Got it? Uh, yes, Can really. we go home now? It is getting pretty late. Oh, no, the mall's closed. We're locked in. Oh, let's call Gulia and see if she can hack the system and open up the door. No, we open those doors and we risk losing our spot in line. Wait, we spend the night and are first in line when they unlock the mall in the morning. Oh. Uh, mm. Sorry, boys. Come on, ghouls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Look, they got in. The zombies are already lined up for the sale. The line starts where that sign says it does, right? Yeah, but... The line starts behind me. <laughs> And the sign, Cleo. Never! The stores are about to open! Sorry, Slow-Mo. I have the sign, so I'm first. <sighs> He's getting a present for Gulia. Who <gasps> romantic. No! Me! I promised! Me! <sighs> but Cleo, second is okay. Second? Me? That's it. This idol has the power of teleportation. All I have to do is touch you with it like this and... Oh! Did you go see Brain Dead Beach last night? I was howling. Cooties! Simon Clocks has cooties! 
Please! <gasps> We've got to get out of here! <gasps> Wait! Uh, come on! Even I know cooties aren't real. They're totally real! And if you catch them, nobody in school will go near you. You gotta touch somebody else to pass them off before you become an outcast. They're just a myth they use to scare kids. Cooties are real. Real scary. <laughs> ah, cooties! Get them off me! No! Cooties! It's invisibility. He could be anywhere. I can't believe this. Oh! Yeah. Traitor to your pack. No, no! Oh, oh man! A normie and I have cooties. Whoa! Give them to Torelai. She's never been anything but mean to us. You're right. Now, where's that teleportation amulet? <laughs> You're supposed to be my best fiends. Everybody just stop this. Frankie, no! Okay, maybe cooties are real, but we don't have to play along. Go ahead, give them to me. You got it. No. If you want to banish me because I have stupid cooties, then go ahead. She's right. It doesn't matter if she's got cooties. She's still Frankie. She's our friend. I guess you're right. Aw, you guys. You're making me feel all voltageous. Ah, this is ridiculous. Ah, I can't take it. Come on, fellas. We're out of this place. <laughs> Everyone's in the Boo Year's Eve spirit! This is going to be the best year ever! All my friends will have big plans for the next year. We've only got seconds left until midnight. Eight, seven, six... I'm just not ready for 2014. Whoa! Did I do that? Oh, Frankie! What is going on? Don't touch anything until I can figure out how to fix this. Uh... <laughs> Look at all of them. So excited for the coming year. I wish I was. Take Claudine. I'm gonna launch my own scary cool clothing line. The word of the year for Cleo in 2013. Dominate. Natch. Uh, of course you're gonna cure scoliosis. <laughs> uh, Heath? What are you doing? What? Uh, not building a fort out of zombies, that's for sure. Pew, pew! Operetta's gonna write a rockabilly opera. Venus is gonna organize a cleanup of Gloom Beach. Rebecca's gonna rocket jump over Monster High. You see, every monster I know has a plan for 2013. Everyone except me. Doesn't that make it more exciting, not knowing what's coming up? Maybe. There are so many surprises waiting for you in the new year. Yeah, you're right. Hey. When would you get to be so smart? It's kind of a secret, but the Heaster's got a pretty big brain in here. <laughs> it's okay not to know what's in store. You know what? Now I'm pretty sparked about 2013. Three, two, one, help me! Monsters, don't fear the year. To find out more, go to MonsterHigh.com. Celebrate 2013 with Monster High, where screams come true. Are you excited? Way excited. It's Khalil. You excited? Totes excited. Guya, are you excited? Oh, oh. Of course I am excitement. Can't you tell? Frankie, you excitement about tomorrow? What's tomorrow? <laughs> That's weird. Must have lost my signal. <gasps> oh, tomorrow, Frankie Stein, is picture day! Uh, so? so? Frankie, you should never underestimate the importance of picture day. A photo lasts forever. Yes, like snowman. Don't snowman melt? Not if made properly. Enough with the history lesson. It's time to get to work. Doing what? Snowboard no party fashion, fashion show! show. <laughs> We are 
like twins. We're fine. It's only eight. But pictures are at eight. Oh, no, 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 no. We still need our pictures taken. Please. Sorry, ghouls. I gotta head on to the next school. But we were up all night picking out our outfits. You'll just have to wait till next week when I come back to take makeup photos. Oh, oh so much wrong. Oh. He's coming back next week. Next week? That means we only have seven days to pick a new outfit. We gotta hurry! No, no. Perfect. Looking fine. Laguna, prepare for the date of your life. <laughs> uh, oh, um, hey, hey mom. Uh, Hey, Dad. I'm going on a date with Laguna. I know she's a sea creature. I know what they say about them. Laguna isn't like that. She's wonderful. She is different. You always said sea creatures were mean, spiteful monsters. But Laguna's the sweetest, most sensitive ghoul I've ever met. Poor little green bros. Do our hearts not beat the same? Does not the same green blood flow through our veins? You said that sea creatures were disloyal and treacherous, but Laguna is the most faithful, true, protective friend that anybody ever had. I try so hard. That's what's messing you up. Don't drongo. Be natural. Be yourself. And you'll be spot on. Yeah. <laughs> Gulia's really brilliant, huh? <laughs> you are not too dumb for Gulia. Well, I'm gonna make this right. If you're going, I'm going with you. By working together, we conquered our fears and did the whole school a favor. <laughs> what? You're still clinging to those worn out old prejudices? <laughs> You're wrong about this. I'm not going to stop seeing her. So you're both just going to have to deal with that. Whoops. <laughs> um, uh, I forgot something. Okay, uh, bye. I'll be back early. Tonight is going to be an epic night for you, Gulia. Your first kiss. <laughs> well, that's what Do said Slomo told him, that he was going to kiss you on our double date. The key is to not rush it. Thanks. Just be yourself and nothing can go wrong. <gasps> My father's precious idol. <gasps> we must have released a curse that switched our bodies. <gasps> Oh, no! The boys are here! Open. Just let yourselves in! We can't let Slow-Mo kiss you. Me? Leo? Coming! We'll have to figure this out on the fly. What do you ghouls want? Oh. You sound like you're coming down with something. How about a hot tea? Gulia? Moan? What? Um, moan? Oh, decaf. Check my purse. See if there's anything on reversing curses. Oh. I don't care how silly you think they are, Gulia. What? <laughs> hmm? Look, bro, she really likes you. Ooh. We'll kiss them at the same time. That way it won't be so weird. I know how much your first kiss meant to you, Gulia. Looks like it'll have to be another nap. Uh. <laughs> I'm me! The kiss must have fixed us, Gulia. <gasps> Cleo!
the four seasons are caused by the Earth revolving around the sun, as illustrated in this vision board. Your homework assignment is to create your own vision board. Illustrating one of the seasons and why you think it's the most important. Frankie, you, Abby, and Cupid are in a group. We can do project at my place. Sounds super chill. Yes, very. I knew keeping every issue of Teen Scream would totally come in handy one day. What season should we pick? Let's do spring, the season when everything blossoms and grows and love is in the air. Also in the air, pollen. I'm allergic. We pick winter, a time to be quiet and reflective. Without pollen, we wouldn't have flowers. Without winter, no snow, no snow, no snow days. Maybe we should pick summer. At least in the spring, you can go outside. Nothing better than evening at the fireplace. Are you saying winter is better than spring? Is fact. Maybe we should do fall. Winter, you can go sledding. In spring, you can catch ladybugs. Climb glacier. Take daisies. Build snowman. Take strolls in the park. I think both seasons are great in their own way. Look how pretty this flower is. Ice flower, much more pretty. There goes my GPA. Ghastly point average. Yes. Don't you understand that you couldn't even have spring without winter, or winter without spring? Wait, that's it! Abby, Cupid, and I realized that without winter, you can't have spring. And as one season turns into the other, the important thing is how they work together. Okay, dancers, auditions start in five minutes. Be prepared to impress me. Oh. Uh, hey, Invisibility, watch where you're sweeping. Sorry. Well, hey, y'all. Hey, Operetta. You outfit. Thanks, hon. Y'all, too. You'll be dancing in style. I know. Y'all better bring your A game today. I'm feeling pretty good about my chances. Keep dreaming, Operetta. I'm ready for this. There's only one lead dance part. Mine. <laughs> so cute. Come on, mate. Don't be like that. Yeah, everyone's got a fair shot. It could even be me. Sweetie, I'm not trying to be rude here, but you got feet made of stone. Um, maybe you could try out for stage manager. Okay, dancers, places a five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Oh, honey, I need my space to shine here. That was adequate. Get ready for round two solos. Laguna, you're first. <laughs> Sorry. Don't be sad, Rochelle. Pauline Wolf. Those girls are right. My feet. They are made of stone. But you're still a good dancer. But a lead dancer must jump, leap, twirl in the air. I cannot do any of these things. Operetta. Maybe you can do that stuff. Come on, I've got an idea. The last dancer, Rochelle. I do not know if I can watch this. I just hope she don't embarrass herself. Bravo! Bravo! You defy gravity! Uh, Rochelle, you've got the part. Oh, invisibility. Thank you. No problem. But what? Where? How did she do that? Beats me. Ah! That's why my wedges are the most important things I own. That was both informative and enlightening. Aww. Next up, Skeleta. <laughs> Laura! Don't worry, Skeleta. You're gonna do fine. <clears throat> the most important object to me is this necklace. It was given to me by my grandmother. It has been in my family for ten generations. Its story began when the Jefe de Brujaria, Bonampa, needed to find the perfect gift for her daughter. Oh, man. Is this gonna be all romantic and sappy? <laughs> <laughs> then... The volcano erupted. But in the midst of this turmoil, she saw something as beautiful and unique as her daughter. Before she could reach it, 
It was smashed before her eyes. But Bonampak was very wise. She knew you must find a way to create something good out of pain and tragedy. The necklace began that tradition. Strong women passed it on to young girls who came of age. And no matter where life took my family, we held on to it and passed it on. Then, when my abuelita was a little girl, an awful event took the necklace away. It seemed hopeless. What an unbelievable downer! Doesn't this story have any car chases or anything? Shh! Skelita, tell me how she got the necklace back. My abuelita thought it was gone forever. Then she remembered the lesson of Bonampak. You can overcome anything if you find the good in it. The loss of the necklace made my abuelita see that it was her family that was most precious to her. And magically, the necklace returned. That was the proudest moment of her life. And when my abuelita gave it to me, it was the proudest moment of my life. And that is why this necklace is the most important thing I own. Aww. That was the most beautiful story I've ever heard. Tell us another one, please! <laughs> Killer job on the stand, Junifier. It was an honor using my talents to help commemorate your friend's accomplishment. I can't believe Claude scored 200 points in one game! He was on fire! All two from beyond the grave! Run! Careful, Flame Brain! That game ball is irreplaceable. I'll hold on to it. Give it here! I'm the Dude, strongest! It's my ball! It's called Jim. It's hey, boys! Run! The ball! Holy smokes, it fell down that old well! We will just go down and get it. There it is. It's lost forever! There is a way. Step aside. Let Manny show you how it's done. We need to calculate the distance down and then melt the bars! Oh, oh, oh! We need a laser! What if we spear it? Hey, boys! What? what? Problems are not always solved with demonstrations of strength. I grew up the only girl in a house with seven brothers. Everything was a competition. One day, my father called on each of us to help capture an evil creature that was terrorizing our town. Each of my brothers went after the beast. They tried to bring it out with force and aggression, but the only thing they returned with were broken bones. The wise thing to do is not to force your way in, but to find a way to force it out. Oh, I see what you're... No, I don't. Let me show you. Whoa, genius! The water is bringing the ball right up to us. You see, force and aggression are not always the answer. Uh, the ball's not the only thing the water brought up. <laughs> Sometimes force helps. I think I should hold on to this. Oh, yeah, good idea. Yeah. Cleo, huge emergency. I need as many extra bandages as you can spare. They're not for me. Thanks. W well, ca careful. They're designer. Have you seen Venus? She told me to bring a 3,000 cc's of distilled water. Stat, whatever that means. Yeah, and she told us to bring the largest thermometer we could find. What is that ghoul up to? Hang in there, big guy. Venus? Quick, we don't have much time. Oh! <gasps> My ghostier bandages! Cleo, this is the oldest living tree in Monster High. He's been here for hundreds of years. What wrong with it? Uh, him? It's his roots. I've tried everything, but nothing's working. He doesn't have much time. It can't be hopeless. Someone must know what to do. A teacher, a scientist, Gulia. Mother. Mother Nature. She'll know. Mother Nature, there is a great oak in danger. Remember what the tree has been to you. Then love it back to life. To life. I got it! Call Cleo! Tell her to get every monster in school out by the tree, ASAP! Oh, thank you, Mother Nature. To lie, to lie. What's the deal, Cleo? Why are we all standing around this big piece of overgrown firewood? Yow! He's not firewood, Heath. 
He's a living history of who we are. I wrote some of my best stories under this tree. I lost five soccer balls up there. Julia, you used to study here all the time. Uh, oh. And Claude and I came here on our first date. See? He carved our initials with his paw. <gasps> Look! So pick me up at eight? I can't do it tonight. I'm, uh, uh, studying with Romulus. For what class? The one with all the tests? Uh, gotta go. Claude just canceled our date. Right, because he and Deuce promised to help Mr. Hack repaint his hers. No, they're all going to Gil's house to work on that rap album. What? what? Why would they all cancel on you at the same time and then lie about their plans? Man, it does sound ridiculous. Oh, I can't wait. <gasps> oh, hey, ghouls. Don't hey, ghouls me. Why did all three of you cancel on us? The truth this time. Rap album. What? Sorry, I'm a terrible liar. Look, tonight is our guy's night out. We've been planning it for a while. Just bros, no ghouls allowed. So, what are you doing? The guy stuff. You wouldn't understand. In your dreams, Jackson! Oh, look, uh, we gotta run. Yeah, there's something fishy going on. We need to find out exactly what they've got planned for tonight. Strange. I overheard Claude and Deuce talking about a strategy for some kind of battle. And Jackson and Gil were pretty aggro towards each other. They're going to fight! Oh, we have to stop them! Julius traced their location. I'm about to bring the pain! Over there! Ow! Take that! Level four lasers right through your defenses! I got force field regeneration! Booyah! Commander, we have to retreat! I can take this guy! Well, they're not fighting. This? Is guys' night out? Come on, ghouls. Let's leave them to their nerd game. Are you kidding? This is hilarious. Careful, Commander. You're too low. Pew, 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 pew. Boys are so weird, but, you know, kind of adorable. Captain, we're going to crash. No! <laughs> Coming up on tomorrow's show, Cleo Denial. Remember, Cleo, you must do it from memory. No notes, no recipes. Okay, Denial Family Recipes. Oh, hey, Ghoul. What? Oh, tell me everything. No. 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 Yes. Okay, maybe. <sighs> what am I going to do? I've got nothing. <laughs> Gulia, I do appreciate you letting me use your raspberry bouffle recipe, but I'll never be able to memorize it before class. Hiya, Goose. Gara, how was telepathy camp? Too amazing for words. I'm thinking of a number between six, 29. Scary cool. Scary Screams is telepathic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can give her Gulia's recipe cards, and she can read them to me from another room. Scara's an awesome ghoul, but hearing everybody's thoughts makes it hard for her to focus. All she has to do is read what's on the cards. What could go wrong? Today, I'm going to be making my world-famous raspberry bouffle. Okay, Scara, just read me off the ingredients. Okay, four cups of whole milk. And we add four cups whole milk. A single single carton of fresh organic raspberry. That ghoul was so hot, I'd need a gallon of liquid nitrogen to cool her down. One gallon liquid nitrogen? One gallon of liquid nitrogen? Number 24 better watch out tonight. 24 cups of flour, 11 slap bracelets, and one smartphone? Now I'll just put this in the oven, and it'll be just a few minutes until tasty time. I'll just wait for my A+. Plus. Um... thinking that you're unhappy. It doesn't take a mind reader. Here, have a super healthy vitamin replenishing drink before you hit the dance floor. 
This sour scarab blast is divine! You should try the seaweed sling. Here you go. Two scary berry and bark shakes. Making specialty drinks sure seems like a lot of work, Frankie. Oh, I like the customizing. And if you don't like it, I'm happy to make you another. Oh, did you hear that? Suddenly, I'm totally parched from showing off my moon. <laughs> Hi, Torlai. Persephone, Meality, can I get you a smoothie? That's why we're here. <laughs> Try my fierce feline refueler. Got a pinch of catnip. <laughs> this is awful! Oh, no. Well, I'll be happy to make you another. This is gonna be fun. Try this. A little less catnip and a little more tuna. Oh, bland. I put some lemon zest in this one. We'll take it out and make it colder. Uh, extra ice? Ugh, too cold. And more oranges. Oh, These oranges aren't fresh. Oh, sorry. I'll cut some right up. <laughs> no, don't touch that! Ah! Oh, voltage! Not bad. I'm trying to hate it, but meow! I'm having whatever they have. Hey, zap one up for me. Jolton Juice has got this dance going! Whatever it is, make it fast. Oh, wait, you can't. You're a zombie. Hey, she was just trying to invite you to her party. Torlai, she was trying to be nice. That lot of good that day. Let me guess. It starts at 8, but the zombies don't get there till 11. <laughs> you think you're as fast as me? Want to bet on it? Tell you what, I'll race you to Mr. Hack's class on the other side of school. If you win, I'll serve food at your party. If I win, you serve food at one of mine. Gulia, you don't... <laughs> Deal. See you at my party. If you want to get there on time, you'd better leave now. <laughs> Ooh, we can't let Gulia lose to that corrupt calico. I've got this laser pointer. Maybe we can get her to chase it down the wrong hall. I can hit her with pies. Come on. Be pretty funny. Guys, this is cheating. She has to do this on her own. Right, Gulia? Gulia? <sighs> there's, there's no rush. This cat's got this in the bag. Hey, Spectra! I've got a perfect headline for your ghostly gossip blog. Zombies serve kitties at high-end soiree. <laughs> <laughs> Super highway, huh? Who knew? Uh. May I offer you another pie? Zombo. Oh! <laughs> See? I tell you, it's funny. <laughs> First full moon of the lunar leap year, and romance was in the air. Wear my ring. My Claw City jacket? <laughs> my flea collar? Except for Halloween. Don't go falling into that I gotta get a boyfriend trap. Why? Because I'm too young. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. <gasps> Hi, Rom. <gasps> wow. You are barking up the wrong tree, little sis. He used to puppy seat you. Welcome to Monster High's Full Moon Sports Day! Lock it, suck it, Monster's gonna rock it! Yay, team! I really like him, Lothar, but I don't know if he sees me that way. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I 
got it! I got it! In your dreams, dude. That's him, Romulus. How can I make him notice me? Do the things he likes to do. Hey! Those sticks are for the bonfire! Thanks! Oh, not that one! <laughs> no! Slow down! <laughs> uh... Go ahead, try it. Yep, yep. Ow! Oh, no. If he can't see how completely forrific you are, it's his loss. Thanks, Lothar. You're such a great friend. Yeah. <sighs> friend. Romance can be pretty tricky sometimes. For every monster who won't notice you, oh. There's somebody right behind you you are not noticing. And right behind them. They came from the depth of space to take over our mind and our planet. I never would have guessed the janitor was under alien control the whole time. Imagine if that really happened. Oh, no. They are here! <laughs> What's gotten into you? Oh, nothing. <laughs> nothing yet. Whoa, did your pet get sick in there? The evil aliens are invading our school. They want to control us. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody believes us. Just like in the movie. All we need is proof. Newsflash! Frankie and Dracula say aliens invade Monster High! <laughs> What's wrong, Slomo? <laughs> it's an alien implant. Just like in the movie. Let me take a look. It's just a splinter. There's no such thing as evil aliens. She's one of them. I know. Hi, ghouls. Oh, you know it would look fabulous with those outfits. Tin foil hats. <laughs> we better stop before we alienate all our friends. <gasps> Evil alien in the gym, meet us there, no hopes! Well, where is it? <gasps> Told ya. It's just a contaminated lab rat. Little guy doesn't like his plasma injections. <laughs> <laughs> I take it you ghouls accept the evidence that no aliens are trying to invade Monster High. No more spreading rumors, all right? Yeah. You've just solved Ryman's hypothesis and Fermat's theorem in one equation. Outstanding! Who uh, oh, yeah, is about to break a million points on the Dead Fast video game? <laughs> Gulia is really brilliant, huh? Uh, you are not too dumb for Gulia. Uh, Leo? Yeah, she has lots of crazy potions and stuff. Maybe there's one to make you smarter, but I don't think this is. Uh, uh, Okay. Cleo's got this. Super intelligence potion. Includes antidote. <gasps> I got a bad feeling. I think, therefore, I am finally worthy of Gulia. Now, if you ladies will excuse me, I have a ghoul to impress. Deft move, old chum. Nicely done, but check. The King's Gambit, beautifully played. And yet, check. And checkmate. Oh. Your rebuttal. Your argument was merely a fusillade of catalaptic verbiage to make your most puerile asseveration seem, oh, the acme of sagacious propacity. The monster Chusett's Institute of Technology is coming by to look at your theorem. I've noticed a couple of inconsistencies in your work. There. Much better. Where's Gulia? I need to explain that she doesn't like what you've become. Rude, full of yourself. But I'm an absolute genius. That's what she wanted. It's what you said she wanted. She liked who you were before. If you were really a genius, you'd know that. You left this at Cleo's. 
the antidote. What a waste of a perfectly good potion. He doesn't even remember being smart. I don't know if it was a waste. Gulia remembers. What's this new kid's name? Ryder. I bet he's a natural athlete. From the look of his blog, this kid's pretty intense. Oh, Claude would just break a leash to get another guy for school to meet roller maze. Oh, man, this place is spin credible. Um, hi. Monster High is totally a place where you can be yourself. What are we going to check out first? Maybe we shouldn't show all the sports stuff. What if he got hurt? Ryder, wait up! <laughs> Penmanship class? Awesome, right? We've got a whole bunch of voltageous activities planned. Library club, yarn collecting club, rock and pebble society. This is what you guys all do for fun around here? Uh -huh. Yeah. I heard so much spectacular stuff about Monster High, but none of it's true. Ryder, wait! <laughs> have you seen Ryder? Yep. Oh, and I may have told him about Scream, how it was the most epic thing you could possibly do. <laughs> what? No! Woo <laughs> How could you let him on the screen track? Skultimate Roller Maze is not safe! Hey, we said the same thing to you when you wanted to play Scream. Maybe he knows what he can or can't do better than any of us. You see? Are you okay? Okay, that was totally spin -sane. I'm gonna do it again. I don't know. You told me that Monster High was a place that I can be myself, right? Well, I'm not a sit around kind of dude. This is who I am. I promise if I need any help, I'll ask. Cool? Yeah. I, uh, I do need help with something. Will you light my wheels on fire? <gasps> I wanna try this jump again. Ladies, it's time for Monster High to pick its annual Creature of the Year. And I'd like your assistance in choosing the winner. I've narrowed it down to two members of the faculty, Mr. Hack and Mr. Rotter. Well, it can't be Mr. Hack. He's anti-fibian. Maybe you should switch partners. Why would you say that? Everyone knows sea monsters are bad parents. Oh, I didn't realize. And he takes royal delight in our misery. Your cabin is in a slightly different location. <laughs> Come on, it's not that bad. You fail, you fail, you fail, you fail. <laughs> Off with the grades. Then that settles it, Mr. Rotter. It is no way. Mr. Rotter, I totally did the work to perfection. Why didn't I get an A? I don't give A's. And remember when he gave us all detention? You and your friends have detention. What did we do? One of you took my glasses, and I demand to know who. Those glasses? Oh, um, yes. Well, I guess I have to start my search over. Nightmare, hand me my files. <laughs> Wait, the award is for Creature of the Year, right? Yes. Well, then maybe it should go to... Nightmare, the Creature of the Year! <laughs> I just hope the award doesn't go to head. <laughs> Mighty Heatster, lead us to freedom, for we are helpless without you. First, I must layeth down the smack on yonder Sinisterians. Take one more step, and you're all toast. What? Put that dumb game down. Yeah, come on. It's Friday the 13th, 2013, so tonight's party has to be off the bang. Oh, man. I was about to level up. Make yourself useful and stencil this on that rock. 
Whoa, check it out. Someone beat me to it. What's it say? It's Sinisterian, the language of the villains in my video game. Look! Please do read it. On Friday the 13th of the 13th year, the Sinisterians will return to this spot to take over. We have to cancel the dance. You want us to cancel the biggest Friday the 13th in history? This is not about a party. The most evil creatures ever are coming here tonight. Dogwash. This is just like the time you ran through the creepateria screaming about a meteor. Everybody, duck and cover. <laughs> the time you said Monster High was sinking like Atlantis. This time, it's for real. Oh, yeah. oh my god, look! I don't know what's worse, those guys or the fact that Heath was right. You can't take my friends as slaves! Whoa, chill out. You got the message we left, right? Yeah, 13th day, 13th year, you're gonna take over? Yes, we came to take over the dance floor. We love to boogie. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm so relieved. That they're not evil? No, that you are right. Evil? Ha, dude, you play too many video games. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Can you zombies move any slower? Poor zombies. They need their own lane in the hall. I'm gonna run for student disembodied president. Then I can help them. I'll be your campaign manager. Lunch and creepateria tastes like yak feed. You make better? You'll make my birthday a school holiday, right? Wow, everyone wants something from me. <gasps> I just want you to lose. This commercial will give you a 50-point bump in the polls. I'm Frankie Stein, and I want to make Monster High better. Yes, I hate Creepateria food. Yes, I know how werewolves feel on the full moon. But what really leaves a bad taste in my mouth is our poor treatment of zombies. Let's go win some votes. Frankie! I hate werewolves. Bad mouth zombies. Time for a breath of fresh air. And that's me. <laughs> and that's not all. I'll expand the parking lot. I'm running because zombies need someone to be their voice. Remember, Ben oh, Garland. Oh, Leo Day. You should really hear from someone who's experienced injustice firsthand. Slow-mo. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> this breaks my heart. Allergies. I stand with slow-mo. If you do too, there's only one way to vote. <laughs> what? Slow-mo? I told everyone voting for me to vote for slow-mo instead. He's the best voice for the zombies. Frankie, you did the right thing. So, about making my birthday a school holiday. <laughs> Hey, Cleo. Tori, I barely saw you there. I mean, you're just that forgettable. You've got no chance at getting the lead in the school play. I was born to play Gorothy in the Wizard of Ooze. Aren't you, like, older than the pyramids? This is a part for a young monster, <laughs> like me. Good luck, Grandmummy. Grandmummy? Oh, wait, that's it! My Grandmummy! In this bottle is magical water from the Fountain of Youth. Gorothy is as good as mine. Oh! Outstanding, Cleo. So vibrant. Such enthusiasm. There's something seriously fishy going on with that ghoul. What are you? I knew you were using some kind of youth potion. Give me some. Pause. Oh. Give it! What's going on? They are acting like hungry yaks at Milton. I need to be younger. No, I need to be younger. <laughs> oh, no. We're monster babies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'm sure there's some kind of reversal potion, right? Yes, but my great great grandmummy has to send it to me. And callbacks are in two minutes! <laughs> Mr. Ware, I can explain. She cursed me with her crazy potion. You should have just let go! <gasps> you should have let go! No, no, you I... are perfect for the part. Is it me? Which one? Why, both of you. Oh, it's the Crutchkins. We, we represent, represent the, the Crawly Tot, Tot Guild. Guild. This must be humiliating. I got our map. Who's ready for some voltageous fun? A race through a maze? I do not race anywhere. The team that plows their way through in the fastest time gets their pictures in the gory gazette. Who's in the lead now? Meow. You flea brains really think you're going to beat our time? <laughs> Your record is history. You've got 30 minutes. Good luck. What do you think, Laguna? Lift does look shorter. Oh, popcorn, anyone? Hey! Whatever. No map, no record. I just hope that we can find our way out. We've been wandering around here forever. It's been four minutes, love. <gasps> oh, what's that? <gasps> Manny! He's a minotaur. They're supposed to be bonzer when it comes to mazes. I bet he can lead us out. Go get him, boys. <laughs> Annie, what's wrong? Uh, I'm lost. I'm the only one in my whole family that stinks at bases. <gasps> lost, there's all sorts of scary things in here. <laughs> 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 Nine minutes. Congratulations, girls. You're gonna be on the cover. Uh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, that machine is so noisy and slow and noisy. Why don't you get yourself an eye coffin? I like my old typewriter. It gets the job done. Yeah, but you can't download free games, like th this one. I wonder why Draculaura didn't show up for class. Yeah, I hope she's okay. The last I saw her, she was in the schoolyard. She seemed rather preoccupied. What are you doing? Did you miss class because of some game? I'm turning this thing off. Hey, there's some kind of witch ghoul coming at me. Just hurl a potion bottle at her. Here, I'll show you. Draculaura and your sister seem to be in a wee bit of trouble. Claude? Oh, dear. You guys have been playing for, like, ever. Come on, Frankie. Join us. Yeah, give it a go, Frankie. Oh. You can pick up your little gadget from Miss Bloodgood's office later. Oh, what an interesting looking game. Look! New high score. <sighs> the important thing to remember in the Emmerich experiment is to never let the propane heat up more than 900 degrees. Julia, I need your help. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, but we have to stop this epidemic. Oh. You're transmitting a virus to all the other devices? Splendid! I haven't the foggiest idea what that means, but I sure hope it works. Uh -huh. <sighs> Game over, I guess. Yo, check it! I got this rockin' new app. It's even better than Angry Ghouls. Ghostly gossip to tell the ghouls what's goth and what's not. Hold your horses! 
Look at that Mustang that just pulled out. <gasps> A new boy. Oh boy. It says his name is Archer. More competition. <gasps> well, hi, sugar. Fancy meeting a cult like you in a school like this. <laughs> nice try, Country Mouse. Let me show you how it's done. <gasps> Oops. Oh, what a clumsy little kitty. Mind helping a lady out, Hansa? Whoa, whoa! Oh, he is so mine. <laughs> oh, honey, he didn't even notice you. <laughs> I'll have him chomping at the bit by lunch. Oh, dream on. Oh, I wish somebody would help poor little me down these stairs. <gasps> I'm fixing to trot on over there and have me a lunch day. Keep your claws off him. He's mine. <gasps> you did not. <laughs> I reckon I did. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! We have to stop this. What are you, nuts? And ruin our lunchtime entertainment? You want to settle this once and for all? Yeah. Come on. Okay. okay. Which one of us do you like? <laughs> He ain't my type. Uh, no, thank you very much. I've got more horse sense than that. Oh, Scara! What number am I thinking of? I don't know. One? The loneliest number? All right, Scara. What boy has you all wrapped up? Buzz Wingman? No, no. Invisibility. Why don't you just go talk to him? If I get too close, I'd hear what he's thinking. What if I heard he didn't like me? I couldn't bear it. Sad. Well, Invisibility and Scatter would make like a perfect couple, except she's too shy and Billy's too quiet and he's... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Billy's my boy. I heard about you and Scare. Well, what did you hear? Don't you like her? I'm afraid that if I get too close, she'll read my mind, and then she'll see just how much. And that might freak her out, because she may not like me. You gotta be transparent with her. It's the only way you'll find out. I can't. That's what he said. We can't even trick her into a meeting. She'd just read our minds. <laughs> I think I know how to fix this. Bad news, bro. Scare's already got a date tonight in the graveyard. With who? Some guy. Billy has a date tonight in the graveyard. Scare will be devastated. Obviously, we can't tell her. No, no, I, I don't know anything. Is something wrong? Whatever you do, don't think of Billy's date tonight in the graveyard. Billy has a date? With who? I'm late for class. Oh, um, I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. I, uh, I guess your date will be here soon. My date? You mean your date? But Claude said... But Draculaura said... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. I like you, too. What? They're together? Okay, I'm confused. I see you two finally got a meeting of minds. <laughs> it's not easy to surprise a telepath. We just told Draculaura it was a secret. I didn't say a word. You didn't have to, lass. Can I walk you to class? You read my mind. Don't deserve it. Enough! You so owe me. I'm Sorry, consider this payback. <gasps> you ruined it. I got it! No, I got it! It's for me! Hello, ghouls! It's your grand mummy. It's for you. She better not be coming to visit. I'm coming to visit. At which time, I will give my most valuable treasure... Treasure? ...to the granddaughter who shows she loves me the most. <gasps> I'll show grand mummy dearest who loves her best. I love her the most! <gasps> the Pharaoh's curse!
curse upon you, Nephera. <laughs> Mummy collects these ancient jars. Hmm. You know what else she loves? Bowling. <gasps> I hereby give my most valuable treasure to the granddaughter who has shown me that she loves me the most, Nephera. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! No, 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 no! The dog of the dead. Oh, he loves you. Oh. <laughs> <No>! <laughs> Johnny Spirit finally gets out today. Monster High's most notorious rebel. Are you talking about the kid who was sentenced to three thousand years of detention? The catacombs used to be his old haunt. Ah, catacombs. If I saw Johnny Spirit, I'd be all whoppa. He yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Johnny, time's up. You're free to return to class, but I'm watching you. I've seen worse. Oh, Johnny Spirit! <laughs> I'm telling y'all, that boy is all bat, no vampire. Hmm. <laughs> Toralai. Beat it. I'm not autographing your stupid poster. <gasps> He's like the baddest dude that ever lived. Totally. He is kind of cute. In a scary sort of way. <laughs> he floats around like he owns the place. He's just a jerk. Oh, no. Music? No. Oh, oh, no! Yeah! Yeah! My rehearsal space? Hey, this place is my stomping grounds. This was my home way before it was yours. Why don't you get your pasty, transparent hands off my stuff and skedaddle on out of here? <laughs> Cute. Tell you what, I'll play you for it. Winner gets the spot. Bring it. Are they fighting? It's a jam session. <sighs> you ain't half bad. And you're not completely terrible. Call that one a draw? Hmm, best two out of three. Hey, what's with all the racket? Johnny's spirit. Dog? Make it five out of nine. <laughs>